of all you're going to need a container to keep your snail in now you can have a storage container like this or you can buy one from the pet store now make sure that you have lots of little holes in the lid so at the moment I don't have any in the lid my dad's going to put some in but make sure that you do have plenty of little holes so that your snail can breathe so next you are going to need your substrate now you can use any type of soil you like as long as it has no pesticides, bugs or anything nasty in it so I just use this cocoa fibre, I buy it from pets at home and when you've put it in the bottom just spray it with some water to make sure it is moist and not dry you want a nice little layer of it like that Next you're going to want to put in some things for your snail to hide and climb on so I've just put this piece of bark in and then this piece of bogwood you can use anything, you don't have to buy things you can use plastic tubs or plant pots as long as your snail has something to climb on and somewhere to hide if they feel frightened Next you're going to want to give your snail some food. Now snails can have a lot of different fruits and vegetables. If you google it then there you will find a wide variety of things that they can and can't eat. So I like to put mine in a little food dish just to stop it getting as dirty as I can. Now of course it will get dirty but in a food dish it won't be as dirty. So I'll just have some cucumber, carrot, baby corn and some broccoli in the bowl for my snail. Next you're going to have to provide a water source. Now you can use a bowl but it would have to be about as shallow as a bottle cap lid. Um, very very shallow so your snail doesn't drown. But I prefer to use a little bit of sponge that I've soaked in water. So your snail can just crawl on top and suck the water off. You can use tissue, cotton wool balls or sponge. They all work very well. You will also need to provide some calcium for your snail so that they can keep their shell nice and healthy. Now one of the best ones you can use is a cuttlefish bone. You can also use store bought calcium powder especially made for um, reptiles or you can use eggshells. There are some other things you can use such as chalk but I just think that cuttle bone is a lot easier to use. Last but not least before putting your snail in, make sure that everything is nice and moist because you do not want your snail to be going into a dry environment. You have to squirt your enclosure twice a day, once in the morning and once in the evening to make sure the humidity is right and your snail feels comfortable. At the moment I only have one snail that was living in this small tub. As you can see there is a great difference. I am going to be hopefully getting a couple more snails to go in with him so that is why I have got a much bigger enclosure so I'm just going to pop my snail in now so my snail is now in his little house you can see how small he is in comparison hopefully I will be getting more snails soon and um, I hope you enjoyed this video please comment rate subscribe and let me know if you'd like to see more snail pair videos I hope you and your smell have a happy, happy life together. Thanks guys, bye!